Hello, I'm Kelly Blackwell, Michigan Assistive Technology Program's co-director. Today, we are going to learn about the Blind Shell Phone Classic 2. What this is, is a cell phone for individuals who are looking for a more tactile experience in using a smartphone. So instead of using something like an iPhone or an Android phone, uh, the Blind Shell could be an option for you. I will go ahead and show some of its features. Uh, I guess one of the things that I first thought of when I saw the phone and unboxed it was that it kind of reminds me of the older candy bar phones. It does have a display screen. Uh, and for those who are visual, there are things like the time that come up on it. And then there's a favorites section that I'll get to uh, but the display screen itself, you don't actually interact with. And then this phone has a headphone jack at the top left edge of the screen, a bar that is for the flashlight, and then on the sides, on the right-hand side, there is the programmatic button and also the button that you would press to request for it to call someone, as an example. And then on the left hand side are the up and down volume buttons. And then you have your typical face of the phone with the traditional number pad that's very tactile. And then above the number pad, there are some buttons that perform some additional functions. And then at the bottom of the phone, and typically where you might find a charging port for something like an iPhone or an Android phone, is the charging port. You can use uh, the charging cord that comes with it with the wall unit or it also comes with a cradle. I'll just show some of the features. Um, I'm going to press this upper left button just below the display screen. And that's a little on the quiet side, maybe, for some, so I'm going to go ahead and press the volume up. Volume 4, volume 5, volume 6. And it goes all the way up to 10. So the one thing that I learned right away with this phone is you have to get comfortable with interacting with menus. And then just below that top left button beneath the display screen is the call or send button, which is also what I refer to refer to as the OK button. So anytime you select something in a menu, in order to interact with that menu item, you essentially have to press the OK button. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. Call, one of seven. So now I'm in a menu where there are seven items. And then above the traditional keypad, in the middle, there are these buttons that act as up and down arrows. Messages, two of seven. Contacts, three of seven. Applications, four of seven. So if I wanted to go to applications, I would go back to this OK button. Internet browser, one of eight. And now I'm in another menu. I'm going to get out of this, and let's say that I've gotten into several menus and I wanted to get back to the very beginning. I'm going to press and hold the slanted button on the right side, or this is the end call button as well, but it's going to take me back to the main screen. 1.32 p.m. And then if I press the programmatic button on the side to get to my favorites, I'll go ahead and show how that works. Flashlight, one of four. Flashlight is one of my favorite. Color indicator. That's color indicator, so if you needed to know the color of your clothing, things like that. Weather, three of four. Weather. Add favorite application, four And then there's four. this add favorite application, so I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Alarm, one of 26. Beepers, two of 26. Book reader, three of 26. Calculator, four Let's of 26. Let's say I wanted the calculator. Again, I'm going to go back to this OK button. Calculator has been added to favorites. Calculator, four of five. Now I have calculator added to my favorite. So again, I want to clear out the screen. 
I'm going to go over to that end call or that slanted button on the right, press and hold for two seconds. 1.33 p.m. And then I'm going to press that programmatic button on the right hand edge of the phone. Flashlight, one of five. And then I'm in my favorites again, and if I arrow through. Color indicator, two of weather, three of five, calculator, four of five. And there's calculator that I just added. So folks, this is a tactile or touch style version of a smartphone. And I would say as someone who is also visually impaired and is used to a touchscreen smartphone device, this may be best suited for individuals that haven't quite taken the dive into a smartphone. But the best part about our program is you can request a demo and try it out to see if it will work for you.